So today, I'd like to talk about the three different trackers that I use to buy an RTX 3070 and a 5600X. Um, none of these trackers are perfect, but you'll have better than zero chance if you use all of them combined. Disclaimer, I was not paid to show any of this, it's just what's worked best for me so far. Uh, this was definitely not an easy process, so hopefully this will help somebody else out. Also, if you're already following trackers but are still having problems, uh, watch part 2 of this video where I go over the best strategies for each website that these trackers may lead you to. Everything I mentioned will be linked in the description, so look down there if you have trouble finding anything. First off, it's something that's not officially on the list because it doesn't apply to me, but it's probably your best bet. Since bots are the ones buying up everything right now, your best bet is to do what bots can't, and that's to go into a physical store. Uh, Micro Center is basically the only place where you can buy computer parts nowadays, uh, rip fries. If you're lucky enough to live near one, somewhere on Reddit is usually nice enough to post when they rehab restocks. Check the Build a PC Sales subreddit to see if there are any updates. Additionally, if you live in the Bay Area, there's also Central Computers. Uh, I haven't been there either, but Reddit says that they've had a few in stock. Okay, so first off is the Brobot tracker on Telegram. Telegram is basically a messaging app, and this bot will send a message whenever it finds something in stock. All I have to do is click on one of the links to get notified about whatever you're looking for. They're both desktop and mobile apps, so I have both installed in order to not miss anything. Um, Telegram does require a phone number, so be careful about that when signing up. Uh, this tracker doesn't pick up everything, but it is the fastest one I've used so far. It also picks up the items that other ones miss. The one annoying part is that it sends messages when the item goes out of stock, and has a lot of false positives whenever there's a drop from Best Buy. But I've had the most success from this one because of those random jobs that the other ones don't pick up. Next is a Discord tracker called ATR Stonks. Um, I think this is the most popular tracker so far. All you have to do after joining is to select notifications for what you're trying to buy. And the best part about this tracker is that an actual person moderates it, so they're manually adding links that other trackers might miss. The biggest one is for whenever Zotac has cards back in stock, the admin will usually manually let everyone know. Additionally, there's also a channel for official stock updates. Um, this is helpful since new products can't be added to trackers until after they've dropped once, so this gives the real people a head start. A couple of downsides to this tracker are that it's a few seconds slower than the Telegram one, and that there are now a lot of people following it. Uh, finally, we have the Twitter tracker called RTX Bot. This is one of the slower trackers notification-wise, but I wanted to mention it because it caught some of the drops that the other ones missed. Mainly, a BNH drop a few days ago for a 3070. Additionally, we also have the Newegg Twitter. They occasionally tweet out when they have restocks. Based off what I've seen, they usually restock at 4pm PST, uh, but you can check there so you don't have to be refreshing every day. However, recently their site has been crashed whenever they announce a restock, so I would not place too much faith in their tweets. I'm trying to keep this video short, so that's all for this one. But if you want to know how to further increase your odds and where you have the best chances at actually buying something, watch part 2 of this video where I go over the best sites to keep an eye on and what to do after one of these trackers notifies you. I don't really have an outro, so I'll be like every other YouTuber and I should just smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, if you have a tracker that you follow that worked for you, please let us know in the comments, it'll help somebody else out. That's all for me, and thanks for watching.